Hello my beautiful little moglets, today we are taking a look at Dragon Raja. I heard about this game coming out quite a while ago, was very excited to try it. I was actually reached out to do a sponsored video for it, so before we get started I do want to thank Arcosaur Games for sponsoring this video. I'll be leaving a link to download Dragon Raja in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. So I've been playing it for a couple days, there are a lot of things I want to show you. This is a super gorgeous game, very very nice graphics, 60 FPS support, high quality graphic options, but if you do happen to have like an older device, older phone, you can just lower those graphics and still play perfectly fine. They're using the Unreal 4 engine for this game and you can really tell it just looks really really nice. But without further ado let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, here is my character, a level 35 Blade Master. I'm gonna create a new character so we can go over the character creation process as this is an MMO and character creation is a pretty important part of that. Uh, I've never been super good with character creation, but I'm gonna try my best here. So to start off, we have a few different class options here. We got the Blade Master, the Gunslinger, the Assassin, and the Soul Dancer, all with uh, different sort of stat distributions. And then over here, you can choose to be a male, <laughs> you can choose to be a female, or you can choose to be a Lolita, okay? Uh, <laughs> so we have all the important options going for us. Going back to the character we created, you can, you can kind of see, okay. Anyway, so let's say we want to be a gunslinger. We're just going to go for a, uh, a female this time and let's go to the next step. So I really like the UI here. It's pretty simple to start. You can just go all, makeup, face, or body. We're going to just hit all and then of course you have a lot of options. So these are like kind of templates, you know, you can just scroll through here, see a design that stands out to you or whatnot and then customize it from there. There are also face templates to further customize it, you know, hairstyles and then a ton of different colors you can change it to. They even have area one and area two of colors so you can see it kind of like fades to another color. I think that's really nice. Uh, skin tone, of course. Physique, we can zoom back out to see that, you know, a little shorter, a little taller. But yeah, that's like the basic character customization. And then, you know, we can go more in depth with uh, eyebrow. We can't really see that because of the hairstyle. Let's change that real quick. So yeah, you can change the eyebrows, you know, pupils, lash style, face, give them little freckles or tattoos. And then when we go to the face section, we have actual sliders, tons of different eye options. I mean, look at all those eye options, dude nose options, mouth options, you know, it goes really in depth. And then the body has a lot of different customizable options as well, you know, little thinner, little chunkier, however you want it. You can even change head size. To be honest, I just went for the uh, all section because I'm horrible at customizing characters. It's still fun, but I always end up making a monster, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for character customization, pretty in depth if you want it. Also templates, which I really like. They got a cool little trivia system here as well. Uh, if you know like the backstory of the game and everything, you know, you can receive some XP gold. They're pretty forgiving as well. Even if you don't know an answer, you'll still get XP and gold just a bit less. We are actually playing on an emulator right now because it is the most convenient thing to record with. We also have mounts here. <laughs> you see we are uh, flying on a sort of hang glider. Oh, speaking of which, we just got an email where we can make a hoverboard. We gotta go try that right now. They have this motor section, which is pretty damn cool. Let's craft it. Oh boy, we got it. We got the hoverboard, that looks sick. We can also customize how it looks, but we can spray paint it. Ooh, the pattern, we can even change that. We can unlock these colors here. Yeah, that red looks all right. Kind of make it more uniform. I don't know, actually, just pure red is a little boring. Let's go purple, dude. Let's ride it. Ah, we can eventually refit it as well. We got some floating arrows there. Wow, that's bright. I like the floating arrows. Unfortunately, we need a basic exotic refit page, which I don't know how to get that yet. And then we can also evolve it at level 55. Look at us go, dude. Look at us go. But yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and continue on with the story. It's a really nice story, honestly, and it's like full of high quality cutscenes. Nice voice Hydra acting as well. You with all the means at our disposal in completing this SS ranked mission. There are also a lot of dialogue options uh, within the story. I typically don't go over story too much because that would take up a big part of the video, but I definitely thought that was an interesting part of the game as well. Oh, I think we're gonna get into fighting here. We're like sparring with someone. Here might be a good chance to show some live action gameplay. I'm playing on emulator and, and I have my uh, PS4 controller sort of um, <laughs> mapped to the buttons, which I'm not super used to yet. So uh, forgive my noobness here, but uh, the gameplay is really nice, smooth fluid. I really like the action RPG uh, fight style. Speaking of skills, there are a lot of skills. Some I haven't even un unlocked yet. You can upgrade them with gold. Some you can see here are activated, some are not. We can activate different skills, have a different skill set, you know. Uh, we got dodge, aerial evasion up there. It's really cool. And then there's the EX skill, which is like a special skill, an ultimate. 
uh, where we can activate different one of those, you know, they're like different skill trees and you and your uh, EX level has its own sort of uh, XP bar. There is also a gacha system using these allies. To be perfectly honest, I'm not sure exactly what these guys do yet. I think they help you in battle. They also have their own uh, skills and ultimates and stats and everything. So I thought that was pretty cool. Ah, we just got a new outfit. It looks really, really nice, like a uh, traditional kimono. Speaking of which, you know, we have a wardrobe as well. We've actually collected a lot of outfits in the meantime. Tons of ways to customize them as well via colors. And yeah, so even after the character customization screen, you can always change your appearance as well through various things. A lot of them are still locked, but yeah, they're there. For now, I think we're going to rock the kimono, though. Oh, snap, we got action. Yeah, it's boss time. Hello there, man. Mind if I kill you real quick? Oh, wait, we got some special abilities to use. Here we go. Did I did a thing. Wait, where'd he go? Was that it? I guess I'm too strong. That was kind of uh, anticlimactic. Oh, here we go. Second battle time. Okay, he's dead again. There is also a combat assist button you can turn on. Just sit back and watch your character do their thing. <laughs> Here we are in Tokyo, just literally running in the street. Oh my god, wait, dude. Don't do that to me. I'm I'm on the zebra stripes, that means you have to wait for me. No, you know what? <laughs> uh, <they're laughs> they're, are we gonna cause like a traffic jam here? Look, they're all stopping. What are you gonna do about it? Someone asks you to leave the traffic spot, what now? Why would I do what you said? Yeah. This is my highway. I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> oh god, are they, are they actually gonna call the police? I wanna see what happens. Dude, we're actually co causing a traffic jam. Oh lord. <laughs> oh no. We got a minus one justice. We're criminals now. All right, back to Chizuru. Continuing on our story. Ah, we are now barbecuing. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me spinning that rotisserie. What is that, a chicken? Emperor noodles. We're tasting the ramen, boys. How is it? Uh, are you okay? I think we're all right. I do hear ominous music now. The voices of some hoodlums is around here. Hoodlum, not for long. You're about to be a pile of meat. Protection you money. Business here? You better pay up. Oh, it's Didn't just this time. You you don't hit women? We are now sampling octopus balls. I would not do that in real life, but I'll make an exception here. Got some more hoodlums to beat up. They're just falling like flies. We are so strong and, and awesome. Well, that guy's a little bit more tanky. Check this out. Boom, special skill. Let's get a cool barrier going up there as well. Yep, they're all dead. Oh, we've unlocked our pilot license. Hold on a second. I don't know if we can actually ride here. No, we can't. Also got a level pack hitting level 40. Cool. You can equip different draconics in each different slot. Extract a draconic from a piece of gear to unlock it. All right, so these seem to be like sort of passive skills. There are so many different things. Oh, there's like one for each. Clothes, gloves, pants, damn. It's gonna take a while to get used to all that stuff, but glad it's there. Ah, but we can ride here, and now we can go up. Awesome, we couldn't do that before. Project Rain has started. Should we join? I don't know, sure. We're not in a club, and there are no clubs, because I think I'm pretty much alone in this server. Look at this, dude. Oh, we can also do a stunt. Let's try that. Ah, uh, evolve to level S. Can't do it yet. But we're flying high, boys. But yeah, like I said, there are tons of events to join as well. It's, uh, like I said, though, I'm kind of alone on this server, more or less. So I can't really party up with anyone. But of course, that'll change once it officially launches. Which it obviously will have by the time this video goes up. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it for Dragon Raja. It's a super beautiful game. Nice story, nice action-y combat. So again, I highly recommend you check it out. Nothing to lose. It's free on the App Store or the Google Play Store, whichever. Just hit that tracking link in the description below and it'll take you to where you need to go to check it out. Dropping a like if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated. Hitting that subscribe button, always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.